Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our online class. Hope all of you are fine at home and study regularly. Dear students, in my previous class, I have taught you lesson 1 and 2 of chapter 3. Hope all of you have learned that topic and done homework. Today, I am going to discuss on lesson 3, 4 and 5 of chapter 3. After doing the class, you will be able to answer to this question. Number 1. What are the different elements of cultural change? Explain. Question number 2. Explain the cultural change and development in respect of Bangladesh. Question number 3. What is visual art? 4. Briefly explain visual arts, literature and musical arts of Bangladesh. So dear students, get your book, copy and pen to do the class attentively. Now I am going to discuss on these questions accordingly. At first we will discuss the different elements of cultural change. You know that there are lot of elements to change culture. Out of them we will have to learn only part of culture, culturalization, Cultural absorption, cultural ideals, and technology and cultural development. That in your copy the different elements of culture. Now I am going to discuss on that. Part of culture. Generally, two cultures came in contact and change each other. That means one culture spread to another culture. It is called span of culture. Due to the globalization and industrialization and technology also, the span of culture has widened in the world. Now, culturalization. What is culturalization? The process of receiving the elements of other culture and making them own by keeping the original one untouched is called culturalization. Dear students, you know that the British ruled over the country about 190 years. And by this period, lot of English words got mixed with Bangla language. It is called culturalization. That means Receiving the elements of other culture is called culturalization. Hope all of you have understood about culturalization. Now, I am going to discuss on cultural absorption. What is cultural absorption? Cultural absorption is a kind of process through which individual or group absorbs other culture. Dear students, when a person happens to live in a new cultural environment, he tries to receive views, behaviors, thoughts, and feelings, values, etc., whole life pattern of that place. Thus, absorption happens. For example, when people migrate from his or her locality for the sake of livelihood, marital status, or for any other reason, they try to integrate themselves with the culture of that area. This is cultural absorption. Now, I am going to discuss on number 4, cultural ideals. Dear students, cultural ideals that means the food habits, dress, beliefs, religious beliefs, music, etc. of any society. That means accepted cultural views of any society is cultural ideals. There are different religious people are living in our country and all of religious people have different types of religious rituals. So, these 
are the cultural ideals of respective religious people. Have you understood about cultural ideals? Number 5. Technology and cultural development. Nowadays, we see that technology plays a great role to change our culture. Due to the globalization and technology, we are getting different types of facilities from different places of the world. Sitting in the corner of your house, you can get lot of information within a single minute. And due to the globalization and technological development, we are becoming developed in different sectors. Dear students, you know that the technology plays an important role to develop our culture, to develop our society. But it has some bad effects also in our society. Such as when you are using Facebook, you don't want to allow your parents and your siblings also with you. That means you are becoming detached from your family members through the technology. It is a bad effect of technology. Dear students, you have to use properly to change, to develop your society and your life also. In this way, we can develop our society positively. You know that the positive change of culture is called cultural development and negative change of culture is called cultural degradation. We don't want degradation. So, we have to use the technology in proper way. Now, I am going to discuss on different cultural development in Bangladesh. You know that culture is changing continuously. That means culture is developing. Sometimes the degradation of culture is happening but most of the time we see that culture is developing. Cultural changes in Bangladesh are happening in different ways. Look at the both education, treatment, the agriculture, research, entertainment, politics, art and literature, male and female activities, etc. Now we see what type of cultural changes are occurring in these fields. Education. What types of cultural changes are occurring in education? Dear students, we see that the question pattern of taking a, uh, examination is changing continuously. When we are at your age, we had to answer six broad questions out of ten questions and eight short questions out of ten questions. Now, we see that you have to answer creative questions, that means structured questions. It is a positive change in our education. You don't need to memorize, only you have to understand. Not only in questioning pattern, we see that we can get result within a very short time sitting at home. But once a day, we have to wait for a long time for getting result and we have to go to the institutions for getting result. We see that through the technology, the development of education is accelerated. Dear students, now you are doing the class with me through the online. It is also an educational development. Treatment. We see that the homeopathy was very much popular in the past in our country. But now 
the allopathy is becoming popular because of diagnosis hurry dear students now we can know the problems of our physical health within a very short time through the technology that means the development is happening continuously in our treatment system agriculture dear students you know that in the past our farmer our farmers were using plow to cultivate their lands that was very much time consuming work but now we see that they are using power trigger to cultivate their lands and they are using a spray to kill insects these are the development of agriculture and there are lot of uh, ingredients to maintain agricultural work that means huge development are happening in our agricultural sector research dear students you know that for doing research on any topic huge amount of money huge amount of budgets are needed we see that our government is trying the level best to provide research to research on something entertainment in the past for getting recreation we had to go to outside the tour we had to go to outside to enjoy jatrapala janishari bhawaiya puthi etc now see that we can enjoy different types of cultural events sitting at home dear students now i am going to discuss on politics we see that the politicians of our country are working to develop our country not only that they are also working for the world us we see that our politicians are attending in different types of seminars in the country and outside the country to develop the world not only the country arts and literature the massive change has been occurred in the field of arts and literature dear students we see that in the past we need color pencils different types of colors eraser canvas etc to paint something but now we can do this through the computer that means using computer or using technology we can paint something within a very short time in the literature also huge cultural changes are occurred we see that in the past if we write poem or prose we have to go to the press to publish but now we can express our nation through the facebook messenger whatsapp that means we can express our creation through the technology and not only publishing or expressing our um, literature now we can create different types of literary works such as in the first the literatures wrote only poem and in the medieval age they wrote prose now we see that different types of poems are written not only poems different types of prose poems 
first become poem. In Bangla, it is called Goddha Kavita. Dear students, male and female activities. What are the changes in male and female activities? We see that in the past, it is a thing that the female are related only cooking, related to the household work, and men are related to the outside. But this view has been changed. Now, most of the female are working with the male in outside the home. They are working in different offices, mills, factories, with, with men. I think you have understood the cultural changes and development of Bangladesh. Now, I am going to discuss on the visual arts, musical arts and literature of Bangladesh. Dear students, you know that there are two types of culture. Abstract culture and material culture. Visual arts are called material culture. Now have a look on the board. What have you seen here? There are some flower vases, terracotta and bamboo made fences. Bamboo made fences are called torsa. All of these are visual arts in our country. Not only that, there are a lot of visual arts in our, or in our country. You know that Bangladesh has an abundance of alluvial land. Alluvial land that means silted soil. People have been using this soil along with bamboos produced here to build houses. Traditionally, these houses have two, four, or eight roofs with bamboo frames called torsa. Sometimes these frames are covered with a kind of long grass called shawn. Have you seen shawn anywhere? If you go to the village area, you can see everywhere the shawn. That is very much enchanting scenery in our rural area. Dear students, most of the houses in the rural areas replicate this type. Once upon a time, many temples were built here with diced bricks. Those bricks are not like the one we see now. They are special. Many pictures are engraved on the soil face first and then burn to keep permanent images. This plant is known as terracotta. That means terracotta made of burnt soil. The Kankajas temple in Dinaspur is very famous for its terracotta. Already you have seen the terracotta, this terracotta of Kankajas temple. The Shampur Bihar of Paharpur is also famous for its terracotta. This type of art reveals the social life of that particular type. Dear students, you can write in your copy. This type of art, this type of art reveals that social life of that particular type. That the tradition of making idols of gods and goddesses of Hindu and Buddhist communities using black stone and soil is also very ancient and famous. Now, we see different looks in our furniture. Already, you have understood the visual arts. Now, I am going to the literature. It is a huge topic. Dear students, our first emblem of Bangla literature is Chorchapo. It is discovered from the Royal Court of Nepal and discovered by Pandit Harprasad Shastri. 
This is the first emblem. Chorja Pada is the first emblem of our Bangla literature. Dear students, Chorja Pada actually sum of poems and that is what Pa, P A Pa is added with all writers of Chorja Pada like Karnopa, Luipa, Mushukopa, etc. After that, the Sultan era was also very much influenced by Sri Chaitunnadev and his Varshava philosophy. During this period, Kirtanas are very trendy. The Kirtanas are struck with emotion and love stories of Lord Sri Krishna and Radha. Dear students, these are commonly known as Vaishnava Padapuli. Some of the eminent deities of Vaishnava Padapuli are Vidyapati, Gyanadash, Chundidash, Govindadash, and so on. During this time, the Hindus and the Muslims are living in parity, and many Muslim poets also became famous by composing Vaishnava Padapuli. Dear students, parity means they are living in that time harmoniously. Apart from all this, many poets composed different sorts of lyric stories based on the local god and goddesses. They are known as Mongol Kapu. That means the Literal word which are composed based on God and Goddesses are Mongol Kapu. The Chandi Mongol of Mukunduram, the Dharma Mongol of Khanuram, and the Manusha Mongol of Vijayagupta are quite renowned in that time. The Anada Mongol of Bharatsandra depicts the social condition of that time. Dear students, this Chandi Mongol, Dharma Mongol, Manusha Mongol, and Anada Mongol are very much important for MCQ. Try to keep in your mind. You know that another important field of literature is Puthi. It was very much loved by the Muslim. These were based on fictional Iranian stories blended with romantic elements. Dear students, recitation from Pusis is front of a gathering was very popular then. Copying Puthi for its preservation was also the bow of the day. Some of the well known Puthis are Isu Julekha, Laini Muslu, Saipur Murk Badirud Jaman, Jangonaman, etc. The Pabdagoti, composed by Alaw, is hugely celebrated in Bangali literature. Dear students, the introduction of Bangal floors began from 19th century. That means before 19th century, all of literal work of Bangla language were poems, different types of poems. After 19th century, we got fruits. It can be said that Ishan Chandra Vidyashagar paved the way for Bangali fruits. While Bokin Chandra and his contemporaries kept the spirit, Tip and Rabindranath Thakur. Kajinatul Islam gave it a complete and decent shape. Writers like Kajinatul Islam, Michael Madhusudan Dutto, Mir Musharraf Hussain, Dinbondhu Mitro and some others had significant roles in the development of Bangla literature. Have you understood the development of Bangla literature? What have we got here? We see that at first all types 
handsome literary work or poem. Then we got different types of kapo like Mongol kapo, Monashan Mongol, Dharma Mongol, Anoda Mongol, etc. Which depicted our social life. And then we got fruits after 19th century. And Vishwasandra Vidyashagar went the way to write prose. Now I am going to discuss on musical arts. We will see different types of music in our country and the changes of musical art in our country also. Dear yes, students, you know that Bangladesh is a land of music forever. Here, music is composed even by farmers while plant their land. Can you see any higher of the world where farmers can sing a song or compost a song? Yes, it is Bangladesh. Here, farmers are enriching our musical art. Dear students, in our country, the boatman also can compose songs and they sing while they riding on the boat. Even the common people compose their own kind of music with spiritual feelings. Music is a means of prayer for many people. It is interesting that the old form of Bangladesh literature, Sarsapoda, and popular Vaishnava Padakuli are written in musical forms. Besides, the Kritunas are quite popular among the Hindu community. However, the vowel music and the Bhattiri are adored and sung not by any particular community. Rather, they are sung by all. Many local songs such as Murshidi, Paladan, Paramasya, Bhavaliya, Patari, Kheur and Khamta, Chari Shari, Gombira, etc. have enriched the musical arena of this country. Dear students, now we see that the change is occurring in our musical art also. In the past, you are enjoying this type of music. But, we are enjoying different types of music sitting at home. Now, I am showing you a picture. Now, I am showing you a picture to observe the cultural change in music. Dear students, have a look on the board. What have you seen here? Here, the man is singing bowl song. And the, uh, here, there are some men who are dancing with jarigan. And here is a boatman singing a bhatiyari song. These are the ancient trends of our Bengal music. Dear students, now see that this type of music sitting at home. I think all of you know her. She is known to all. She is uh, Rejwana Chaudhuri Borna. is singing a Ravindra song. And we see here the Ayub Batsu and his associates. Ayubatsu sings band song and this type of uh, songs, this type of musical change are going through in our country now. So we see that in our musical art, huge changes are occurred. Dear students, what have we seen? Uh, through the pictures, we see that the power singers are using actor or dhotara. But our band singers are using guitar. 
that means musical instruments also are changing so dear students we see that few changes are occurred in our musical art students once upon a time patali heul and phamta were very much popular in the urban areas with the passage of time the bengali musical devotees were influenced by the classical music of the northern india this ultimately paved the way for the modern music in bengali nidu babu kali mishra and some other pioneers in this area but gained excellence by rabindranath tagore our national anthem amar sunar bangla ami tomai bhalobashi is a creation of rabindranath tagore too afterwards many others following the paths of rabindranath have advanced the growth of modern bangla song among them kaji nazrul islam stands apart for his efforts and variety he has composed nearly 6000 songs in his 20 year long creative career how many years 20 years long creative career other prashant sen dilian jalal roy and rajani kanto sen also contributed immensely to bangali music dear students what have you observed through that pictures what i have shown you we see that in the past we are enjoying through this music mushri palagan barmashya bhawaiya etc and in urban areas patali kheol and khamta janishari etc but with the passage of time modern songs are introduced and we see the rajana chaudhuri bonna sings rabindra song and ayub bachu sings band song they are used different types of musical instrument that means we see that not only music musical instrument also changed we see in the past our musicians used our musician used ektara dotara tabla etc now our modern musicians are using guitar high volume harmonium etc dear students what have you learned from the lecture cultural development in different sectors education agriculture treatment relationship between male and females technology politics etc and also we have learned the changes in visual arts literature and musical arts also now i am giving you a homework dear students your sbmrs will be dependent on this homework so write it in your copy homework briefly discuss the cultural changes of different sectors different sectors in respect of bangladesh I'm telling you again. Briefly discuss the cultural changes of different sectors 
in district of Bangladesh. Dear students, already I have discussed the answer of the question. So, do the homework attentively and study well. That's all the class. See you again in the next class. Thank you. Allah.